I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box. This is the new jack I got from uh, Harbor Freight has purchased this for the Hall Master. It looks like it'll drop right on to the one that I need to take off. Now, interestingly, that jack that's on there, the 12 volt electric tongue jack that's on the travel trailer, that's the one that came on a new and it quit working at about 14 months. Of course, the warranty on the trailer only goes 12 months, so it uh, apparently initiated the self-destruct code shortly thereafter, and it won't raise. If I bang on the side of it while I'm holding the switch, it'll sometimes come on. Or if I put the hand crank in it, start moving it, and then hold the switch, uh, it'll start cranking. I got one that looks like it'll drop right on. It's 12 volt. It's got a 5,000 pound capacity. So let's pop this open, see what we got. This is not a promotional unit, by the way. We have no affiliation with Harbor Freight or with whoever made this, Hallmaster, or any of the other manufacturers of products that we might mention or show you in this video. This is my own personal purchase. And you're just you're seeing it as I'm seeing it here. manual and safety instructions. Oh, by the way, I did look up the owner's manual on the one that's on there. There's no way to apply lubricant to any of that. It's a, all a sealed system and there is no maintenance required or, or available. There's nothing you can do about it, basically. So this is looking pretty good so far. I think, I think all I gotta do is take the other one out. I already had to disconnect the wiring on the one that's out there in order to reroute the wiring for the battery box move relative to the, the uh, spare tire relocation that I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to have to jack the front of that trailer up, aren't I, because the weight of it right now is on the jack. All right, let's relocate and do that out there. Okay, now I've uh, taken the liberty of backing off all of the stabilizers before I do this. And I put the jack under that and just jacked it up just enough to nudge it so that my weight is not on the top. Now see that it, it'll rotate. Once I start it, it rotates freely, but that motor or something on here is bad enough that it can't jump start itself. But I played this game most of last camping season where I would come out here and push the button and slap it on the side. And every time I stopped, I'd have to slap it again. See there? But if it comes to a full stop, then I'm dead in the water again. That is an unacceptable situation, so it's coming off. You know, if I was dealing with a 15, 20 year old trailer, I might put up with that kind of crap. But I'm not, so I won't. Here we got these two, these two things there, and and they just unplug.
it would probably be best to disconnect the battery. If you try this at home, go ahead and disconnect the battery. Um, Threaded through the top. pop this lid off. This is set up so that you can bring these wires down and splice them in with crimp connectors somewhere down here, but I am going to take the chance that with the connection up in here we'll use these same spades. I'm going to do that because one less crimp connection is one less place for water to get in and mess things up. that down to get those off of there. There we go. There we go. All right, manual says 15 to 20 foot pounds. This one take my phone. Twenty. Here we go. Okay. Weight is back off of that. zip ties on there I think would be appropriate. So that was an extremely easy job retrofitting this trailer with a 
new Hallmaster 12 volt jack from Harbor Freight. And again, we have no affiliation with them. So uh, before I jump back over to the other project of relocating the battery box so that I can install the spare tire underneath the A-frame of the tongue, I'm going to go ahead and say thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share. Come on back for more. PFO Channel out.